Boker Tov. I hope that everyone is healthy and well. I was recently thinking about the movie entitled The Mask, which came out in 1994, starring the versatile and talented actor Jim Carrey. He plays Stanley Ipkiss, a timid, mild-mannered blank clerk who discovers a magical mask containing the spirit of the Norse god Loki. But when he puts on the mask, he becomes a supernatural playboy, exuding charm and confidence, which allows him to catch the eye of a local nightclub singer, Tina Carlisle, who was played by Cameron Diaz. Unfortunately, when he does so, it changes his entire personality, which gives him the opportunity to display his many comedic talents. It's a fun film, and if you're looking for a diversion for an hour and a half, it's worth considering. It's not a deep film, but given the climate in which we're now living, it does give us something to consider. All of us, when we're going out in public and can't safely be six feet away from another, should be wearing a mask. How quickly times have changed. Given the pandemic, which has swept across the globe and entered our own community, masks have become the new status symbol, which all of us, I hope, are wearing. These are an example of a few masks, something like this, this, or even just your plain old medical mask. You can make your own, and I know several members who have been doing so to give to others. But the masks we wear are not necessarily fashion statements, although again, as I've mentioned, I have seen a wide variety in different colors and patterns, but they are a statement of caring and concern for others. As you may know, wearing a mask helps if there are droplets in the air, and it helps to give you some added protection. But just as importantly, if you might be carrying the virus and are not aware of it, namely that you're asymptomatic, which is, yes, a real possibility, you will help to not spread the virus to others. I just remarked the other day about seeing people in the past who were wearing masks and how odd and out of place they seem to be. But now the opposite is true. It's what we need to do, not only for our own protection, but for the protection of others. If I have to be in a store, which I try not to do too often, I'm rattled and anxious around those who don't wear masks. I think to myself, how could they be doing such a thing and not wearing one? How life has really, really changed. Now, Jim Carrey's mask changed him into someone who he was not. However, our masks, on the other hand, have the potential to change us into the people that we should be. People who are caring and concerned for others, not thinking just about ourselves, but how we impact the lives of others. Wearing a mask is a symbol, not that we should be feared, but that we should be seen by others as someone who truly cares about you. It's an example of the famous statement in Pirkei Avot, the ethics of the fathers from Hillel who said, Hu there." He used to say, if I am not for me, who will be for me? And when I am for myself alone, what am I? And finally, And if I am not, and if not now, then when? My friends, wearing a mask can change you. Yes, it can. Not in the way it did for Jim Carrey in the movie, 
but into a person who displays kindness and caring for others. Showing people that you are not just for yourself, but for each and every human being, regardless of who they might be. It's an important lesson for us at this time of pandemic, but particularly now when we must show and display our care and respect for each human being, whether you or they are wearing a mask or not. Hillel's words are more important now than they ever were. And if not now, then when? Be well and take care.